Hey, thanks for coming back to Pocket Ronnie. We're going to be doing slope intercept form to standard form. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. y is on one side, everything else is on the other side. Okay, so we're going to start out in slope intercept form and then we're going to change our equations to where they are in standard form. Standard form is in ax plus by equals c form to where x's and y's are on the left side and whole numbers on the right. The one thing to always remember about standard form is there are no fractions in standard form. You can have fractions in slope intercept form, but not in standard form. Okay? So let's look at 9e9. We are in slope intercept form. We can see the slope is negative 3, the y intercept is negative 6. So we want to put it in standard form. Standard form is x's and y's on the same side, whole numbers on the other side, okay? So I'm going to get my x on the same side with y. In order to do that, I'm subtracting 3x, so to get rid of it, I need to add 3x. Whatever I do to one side in the world of algebra, I have to do to the other side. It makes the equation balance. So on the right, the 3x's, those cancel out, and then on the left, I cannot add x's to y's. Okay, so then I write it 3x, this positive, when there's no sign, it already implies a positive. So 3x plus y, that y is already positive, there's no sign so it's implied, equals negative 6. This is standard form. x's and y's on the same side, whole numbers on the other side. Remember what coefficient is in front of this y? It's like a 1, we just don't write it. 3x plus 1y or plus y equals negative 6. That is standard form. No fractions. Now let's look at 9a, 16. y equals 3x. That is in slope intercept form. You can see the slope is 3. What is your y intercept? Plus 0. We just don't write it. So you have a y intercept of 0 crossing at the origin. We just don't write the plus 0. Now we want to put it in standard form. Okay. So standard form means x's and y's on the same side. I want to get my x over here with my y. So if I want to move my x from here, it's being added. So therefore I need to subtract it for it to cancel. Okay? Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. On the right, those cancel. On the left, I cannot add x's and y's together. So I leave my negative, don't lose your sign. My negative stays with the negative 3x plus y equals, and what did I have over here? Remember I had that plus zero out here for the y-intercept. So there is still something over there. It's zero. Zero is still a number, okay? And so that is your standard form. X's and y's on one side, whole numbers on the other side, and no fractions. Now let's look at 9a12. And we have y equals negative 5 thirds x minus 2. I have a slope of negative 5 thirds and a y-intercept of negative 2. This is in slope intercept form and I want it in standard form. Standard form means x's and y's on the same side, whole numbers on the other side. When you have fractions, my recommendation is to get rid of fractions first before moving x over. Okay? Just as in we had the problems back earlier in the book of 1 fourth x plus 1 third equals 1 half, we had to multiply through a by a the least common multiple in order to get rid of these fractions. For this, you would multiply everything by 12 and it would help get rid of, um, it would eliminate those denominators. The same is true when you are getting rid of fractions in slope intercept form. It's the same process. The only denominator I have is 3, so I want to multiply everything by 3 in order for that denominator to cancel. If I multiply this by 3, Actually, let me write it out here. If I multiply this by 3, like 3 over 1, that's multiplied, not subtracting, then you can see that 3 will cancel. Well, if I multiply this by 3, in order for that denominator to cancel, I have to do every term by 3. So this has to be multiplied by 3, and this has to be multiplied by 3. I use parentheses when multiplying because parentheses shows multiplication. Okay? So now on my left, I have... 3y, my 3's canceled to leave everything 1, 
1 times negative 5 is still just a negative 5. So I have a negative 5x. I'm going to blow this up real big. Here's what we have. We have 3 over 1 times negative 5 thirds. My 3's cancel, leaving a 1 here and a 1 here. Multiplying fractions across, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 5 divided by 1 is just a negative 5. That's how we end up with a negative 5 right here. Now we have a negative 2 times 3, negative 6. Don't forget your negatives. The sign in front of the number goes with the number. Okay, we are still not in standard form. Standard form is x's um, and y's on the same side. So I need to move my x over here with my y. So I'm subtracting 5x, so I need to add 5x to get rid of it. So whatever I do to that side, I have to do to the other side to make the equation balance. Those cancel. I cannot add x's and y's together, so I have 5x plus 3y equals negative 6. Do not lose your negative. Now this is in standard form of x's and y's on one side, whole numbers on the other side with no fractions. This is the same equation as what we started with, it's just in a different format. Okay, now let's look at 9c number 9. <clears throat> we have y minus 3 equals 1 third x minus 1. This is not even in slope-intercept form, but we are asked to put it in standard form. The main thing to remember is standard form does not have fractions, so I always recommend getting rid of your fractions first. This has a denominator of 3, so therefore if I multiplied it, by a 3. If I multiply this by 3 over 1, then my 3's would cancel, leaving 1 times 1 over 1 times 1. Okay? But whatever I do to this term, I have to do to every term. So if I'm going to multiply this by 3, I have to multiply this one by 3, that one by 3, and this one by 3. Which means I have now 3 times y, which is 3y. A 3 times a negative 3 is negative 9. Remember up here we had our 3's our canceled and we had 1 times 1, 1 times 1. We had 1 over 1, which is 1x. A negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3. Okay, now let's get our x's on the same side with our y's, which means I need to subtract 1x here and 1x over here. Those cancel. I cannot add x's to y's. So I'll write negative 1x plus 3y minus 9 equals negative 3. Now I want to get my whole numbers, my negative 9, on the same side with my negative 3. Because I want x's and y's on one side and whole numbers on my right side. So in order to get rid of my negative 9 here, I need to add it to both sides. So scooting over this way, I still on my left, I now have negative 1x, or you can just write negative x, plus 3y, then a positive 9 and a negative 3 was a positive 6. This is now in standard form where x's and y's are on one side, whole numbers on the other side, and no fractions.